What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Brian. Uh, I got a package in the mail today. And, uh, saw this on the box. It's a pretty clear indication, a clue to me of uh, what was inside. So I figured, what the heck, let me do a quick unboxing video. Now, one of the things about my unboxing videos is that they're not authentic on boxings, right? Because when I get some, a box in the mail, when I get a comic in the mail, I'm not going to wait to do a fucking video. I bust that shit open stat, right? I want to see what's in there. I want to check I want to check it out, right? So you have to use your imagination, right? Like Doug Hennig would say, we go into the world of imagination. Doug Hennig, yeah, there's a, there's a really timely reference for you. <laughs> but hey, anyway, uh, let's take a look. At, uh, at what's inside here, okay? Let me just... All right, let's see what's in here, man. Bust everything out. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. And first up, what do we have? We have a very nice looking sketch card. And on the back, little description that's Sully's silhouette easily recognizable and iconic right and uh what can I say sketch cards always cool always love these there's just some you know, the, it's an original piece of art right that you're getting with your with your order I I I envy my illustrator friends I really really do uh being able to do stuff like this and then what do we got we got we got CDs. We got CDs with the with the Tipper Gore sticker, no less, right? Now I don't know anything about these guys. I don't know anything about their music, but I'm sure as heck looking forward to uh, popping these into the CD tray and uh, and checking them out and listing them. And how often? I mean, has anybody ever mailed? comics with uh music cds before i don't think so so all right you know already we're getting we're getting uh we're getting up there in terms of uh fulfillment bonuses and stuff and what do we have here we got a little packet we got a little packet and i see some roaches in there not the fun kind, not the one, <laughs> not the ones that you find in a in a in a, between the couch cushions of like a burnout's apartment or something like that. But yeah, we got a little uh, el, el, el rucho and another backup el rucho, and we got some stickers. Check that out, and there's like two of each too, which I think is uh, really cool and really generous because. And a cool idea is the logo that's going that's going on my uh, that's going on the side of my uh, PC tower for sure. And oh, oh oh oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? There it is, right there, man. There's the click. That's that's the click right there, man. That's I I honestly I could give a rat's ass about the comic. I could give a rat's ass about the music. I could give a rat's ass about anything. This is the real reason that I backed the campaign put that put that aside and you know that's not getting it's not getting lost anywhere uh then we've got look at this a bunch of other stuff here we got like an aro uh air 15 orangutan prints absolutely beautiful as you can see rich is, is just a uh it's just an incredible artist I just love what this guy does. And he does everything, too. Uh, you know, it's not like he does the pencils and then passes it on to Inker and then goes to the colorist. He, this, is, this is all him. And it's one of the things I love about his artwork. It feels uh, handmade. Uh, you're not going to be able to get this sort of a thing. You know, you know not hating on uh, any of the creators that, that work in digital. Uh, I don't mind when uh, people use computers as long as it doesn't look like they're using computers. But uh, nothing beats art that has uh, the sign of the human hand on it. Check that out. That's really cool. 
There's a little trading card. That's pretty badass. And then... <laughs> we got a little postcard too. Isn't that charming? Uh, as for the book itself... There it is. Uh, and this is a big boy. This is a big boy. Holy crap, man. Here, hold on a sec. Let me grab... French comics. And let's do a little size comparison here. Because one of the things I love about French comics is is the uh, is the format. And you can see this is this is bigger and taller and wider. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what, we would, what you would call this format. Uh, album size. Uh, it's, uh, uh, be, it beats me. All I know is is that it's cool and that it's going to look awesome on my uh, bookshelf. Let's bust this open here. There it is. There she is. And you can see that the title is embossed. Yeah, I have to turn that so that the light hits it the right way. There we go. See that? That's really cool. And then naturally, we got the Bart, and it's just fantastic. It's just really, really, really cool. I mean, Rich is clearly trying to gross you out. I mean, this is because I, I, you know, I already took a peek at this. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but I took I've taken a peek at it. And it's fucking disgusting. It's really, really nasty. And. Uh, What's interesting is that it's so gross and it's so nasty, and yet the art, there's something really beautiful about the art. Um, what can I say? This is, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> this is like, like a, it's, it's, it's like getting a, a headshot comic in like prestige format. And Rich, of course, does all the art himself. And uh, what can I say? It looks beautiful. Also, book sniffing test. Ah, uh, I actually like the way this smells, right? Uh, I'm very relieved to know that I'm not the only book sniffer out there. Uh, it's not a kinky thing. <laughs> it's, everybody I know that's like a book person is, is also a book sniffer. There we go. Face down in a pool of fucking piss. <laughs> it's no, and other vile, assorted, nasty fluids. So anyway, you know, what, what can I say? Look at, look at all this stuff that you get. Look at all this stuff that you get in here. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. So uh, as far as I know, Rich Ayala's Roach Balls still um, in demand. Should be in demand. Uh, so I'm going gonna, gonna, uh, gonna, to gonna read this in a little bit. But first, I've got a little something to take care of. Okay, so everybody, I want you to know, love you all, and uh, I will uh, catch you later. All right, let's do this.